If someone came to you and you said, you have to play someone in Trump's cabinet, I mean, who would you want to play? Ben Carson. I've got his voice and his vocal pattern down because it's intolerable. Yeah. And, I, and it's the one thing I've, in my act that I've not been able to get rid of. To speak as softly as you possibly can and yet still be heard. Yeah. You know, now I use it as advice to people. If you want to get at someone, if there's somebody who really bothers you, instead of yelling at them, you can say exactly what you want to say if you say it like Ben Carson, because it's allowed him to say any amount of insane things. What kind of associations do they have? That will tell you a lot more than an interview will tell you. The fruit salad of their life is what I will look at. Yeah. Any batshit thing that has come into his head, he has said aloud, and people listen, and nobody comes to him and says, Ben, uh, come on, you're going to have to come with us now. It's amateurs who built the art. But it was professionals who built the Titanic. <laughs> Something's up there. Yeah, some, I don't know what and whatever it is, is not right. Yeah. And I think it's, there could be an alien probe involved. As a matter of fact, I believe that uh, I could run HUD and uh, do his voice and do as good a job as he's going to do. So if Lauren calls you and it's like, Lewis, we need, who do you want to get? Here's, here's, here's another thing I'll tell you that's never going to happen. Lauren Michaels is never going to call me, ever, ever. Lauren Michaels doesn't think I'm funny. Some kid in the office will bring it in, he goes, no, I've never liked him.